what's up traders welcome to another video traders lose money because of emotions now by knowing this fact you may have created so many rules now there is a new problem the problem is either you cannot trade at all because you need to tick so many boxes or you are missing so many trades because you need to, a lot of time to make your decision finally you may have thrown all the rules into the window and started to trade based on emotion again so what's the solution the solution is the rule has to be precise and to the point so in this video i'll discuss three rules that you can integrate in your strategy that is precise important and to the point sound interesting then do a favor for me smash the like button for me and also hit that red subscribe button press the bell notification so that you don't miss out any of the content that i release almost few times a day did you do that well done now let's straight jump on to it rule trade with the trend this is the most important rule you need to remember in your trading remember trading with the trend is only the way you can make a huge profit from a single trade and most retail traders lose money only because they trade against the trend this is the human psychology works always try to trade against the trend and you need to train your brain to trade with the trend now i'll show you how to identify a trending market so that you can trade with the trend okay so first let's start with this example of euro gbp now how can you identify the trending market to identify a trending market the first thing you need to do is zoom out your chart make it as small as possible okay now look at the chart what do you see in this chart you always need to see the bigger picture because if you only narrow down to small portion you will get completely confused so this post this chart here what you see this is a clearly downtrending market how do you know see look at the top of this all this top of this instrument what you see that it is creating a lower high so every time the price is moving along this line except some areas there is a false breakout and also you can see a lower high in this false breakout as well but majority of the case what you see the instrument was moving along the line and creating a lower high so this is a downtrending market even from here it was creating lower high and lower low so this is a downtrending market but if you zoom in if you don't see the bigger picture what is the problem the problem is say for example if you zoom only this area of the chart what you see that this is the uptrending market you see that okay the price started to move here creating a higher high and higher low there has been a false breakout to the downside and again the price has started to move up so if you zoom in only in this portion you will see that this is an uptrending market that's why the first thing you need to identify is to see the bigger picture to see how the market structure has been created when you see a market structure like this creating a lower high and lower low this is a downtrending market when you identify a downtrending market then you only think of selling in this market i'm saying again when you identify the market structure is downtrending you only think of selling in this market so in this market euro gbp you only think of selling not buying let's see another example 
of an uptrending market. Okay, so let's look at this one here. This one is USD JPY daily time frame. What you see that starting from here, the price started to create higher high and higher low. At some point, it has gone for a little bit of consolidation and again started to break to the upside. So this market is basically an uptrending market because every time the price was moving, creating a higher high and higher low. So in this market, you only think of buying. So again, what is the market structure? Like this, when you see an instrument is creating a series of higher high and higher low, you may not get always like this, but this is the basic market structure. In this market, you only think of buying. So this is the first rule that trading with the trend going with the flow do not row your boat against the trend then you will be smashed yeah you're facing the wrong way <laughs> the second rule that you need to remember is only buying or selling from an area of value an area of value could be a support or resistance or on a trend line what do i mean by this let's go back to the old example euro gbp as you can see that euro gbp in a downtrend that we have seen now where you wanna buy or sell in this market let's say you wanna trade based on intraday for our time frame so in this time frame if you watch the market then where do you make your trading decision let's say the price is here let's replay our chart now what you are seeing that this instrument is moving along this trend line it's clearly defined trend line right so this is the trend line except this some areas post breakout so if you see that the price is hitting this trend line and creating a price action definitely you can think of selling because this is a downtrending market now here is a selling opportunity here is a selling opportunity only in this two zone and here is a buying opportunity but because this is a downtrending market we will not think of any buying let's see later what happens see what happened here that this trend line is broken in this area so when you see a trend line is broken that means support is broken here now what you will do you will wait for the price come here test this support as a resistance and this resistance line can be an important area of value where you can sell from this so let's see how this market is unfolding now look at this the price went there exactly there now testing as a resistance let's see later what happened now look at this price section see this is what you need to understand see when this green candle came here this green candle basically tested this trend line as a resistance so this is an important area of value so if you watch this price action you can say to yourself okay the price is below this support tested this support as a resistance and created a long hanging man so trade it from here short stop loss above this green candle above this resistance and maybe you can target one to two or one to three even one to two it's easily achievable see this is the easily achievable and that is what you need to wait for the price to move an important area of value either support resistance or on a trend line and even you can hold this trade for long term see this is going for a, a long term is it didn't hit our stop loss yet see the trade is moving along this direction for a very very long time even you can take one to uh, five one to easily one to five you can achieve so this is achievable so you can trade this instrument the from this area one to five risks to reward so that is how traders make money they only buy or sell from an important area of value now let's see other example usd jpo how you can find a buying opportunity because this is an uptrending market. Okay, 
Okay, so USDJPY, say you are watching the price action from here. Okay, let's say we can replay from here. Now the price is in a completely sideways, right? Consolidating in sideways. So when it is moving sideways, you have to wait. You don't trade in a sideways market. And then what happened? The price broke to the upside. Okay, so broke to the upside from this consolidation consolidation broke to the upside so when it broke to the upside what happened look at this the price now just above this level of resistance so what happened look at this here there is a resistance here there is a resistance here there is a resistance here now when the price broke this resistance came here tested as a support and in this support what is created the price created this important price section which is shooting star so when you see a shooting star in this such an important level of support you can buy from here very very easily so you can go long definitely you stop loss below this resistance and you can target one to three one to four or one to five now replay this chart and see we know that this will go up that we have seen but the concept you need to understand is that look at this why you think that you can buy from here because first of all the price was consolidating and then broke to the upside but overall market structure look at this, this is a bullish market structure this is a this is a bull market so when you see a bull market and break out to the upside definitely in the retracement you can think of buying from this market and that is how you need to buy or sell from an area of value number three always maintain high risk to reward ratio what does it mean it means that you always need to lose small and you need to gain big the biggest mistake traders make is they lose big gain small even if you have a high winning rate if you lose big gain small over the long term you will never be profitable on the other hand if you gain big lose small even with a very very small winning rate you can become consistently profitable trader let me explain say for example if you have a strategy that you use always one to five risk to reward ratio now one to five risk to reward is possible because i have seen in my back testing if you trade with the trend and if you buy or sell from area of value you can maintain one to five risk to reward ratio say for example you took 20 trade now in this 20 trade say back to back you lose 15 trade okay and only in the middle and over this 20 trade you win only five trade so lose 20 win five now if each trade you risk one percent then what will happen in this 15 losing trade you lose 15 percent of your account money but because you have one to five risk to reward in this five win you make 25 percent so five by five 25 percent because each time you win you win five percent each time you lose you lose one percent so what happened at after this 20 trade despite losing 15 trade you make almost 10 percent which is a big money even if you have a reasonable trading account and that is the secret all the successful professional trader use in their trading strategy these are the three rules that you can integrate in your trading strategy remember these three rules are golden rules if you apply properly i can guarantee that you will never be a losing trader because trading with the trend buying or selling in an area of value and maintaining a high risk to reward ratio are only the rules that you need to become a profitable trader if you 
stay disciplined. I sincerely believe that this video was helpful to you. Leave a comment below what other rules you think that traders should include in their trading strategy. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another video.